Welcome everyone to our latest YouTube video where we are going to be showing you how you can create your own dashboard, HQ, whichever way you want to call it, which will make your life so much easier when navigating around Trello. We're going to show you examples of our very own and then show you how you can set yours up nice and easily. Right then, so we are going to be creating a Trello dashboard. So before we actually go into creating it, I just want to actually show you our own. This is our very live dashboard that we use. Um, so obviously some things have been blurred out so that you can't see, but this is how we basically operate our business and it helps any business that you basically have. So what we've got here, we've got different columns and this is called our IT Moon HQ. Um, or you can call it a dashboard, HQ, however you want. And as you can see, we have this linked um, as our main board all the time and we can get around all our Trello boards just from this one board. It makes life so much easier. Yep, we could search for boards at the top, but obviously that's just can, you've got to remember the board names and things like that. But also we use it for important details as well. So what we have in here, we have our main HQ to column. And in here, we've got some boards linked in. So how this basically works is that we have things linked in here. So if we went to task list, we can actually see the IT Moon task board. We would click on that and it would open it up in a new tab for us and we can crack on with our tasks. We've got our CRM linked in here, which we used Absado for. So we can get that. We link in things such as Google Documents and spreadsheets. So here we've got our staff time management and services, which is a big part of how we operate our business. Um, under software here, we've got all our software listed that we use and why we use them. And then main links is things that we keep fleshing out where it's got the main links that we use quite often or we may give out to people as well. Then we have this goal section here. So this goal section, we always have three goals ongoing um, so that Everybody, when they log into the HQ, it's the first thing they see. It doesn't obviously go up into major, major depth. It's just that we still got them at our forefront of our mind. So for instance, here we've got goal two, social media followers. And when you open it up, we've got in here the aim, how we're going to do it, what's the starting point, what's the final goal. So we can see that in each of these goals for what we want to do. And as you can see, with both of these, we've made it very nice and simple to view things. So it's like big, full color cards. So normally when you like create a card, it just looks like that white. And obviously we've gone for these covers to make things stand out. And we've also gone for having images on certain things. Then we've got our marketing over here. So on our marketing column, if we click social media content, it'll take us to our board that we have for social media. We've got our social media links and platforms. So all the different links we need for social media, landing and sales page links, our generic images, there's Instagram grid, logo, color palette. We've got them so we can copy and paste them nice and simple. Or we've got the screenshots of them there. Then we've got our financials. So in here, we track the revenue, the financial goals, our company main details, like things in here, like our trading address and all that kind of stuff is in there. Um, what accounting software log is, what payment methods we use. We've got a team board. So in here, we when we have team meetings or anything, we have a board for everybody. So I've got a card for our team. Here is our social media content client. So all our content clients are under here. Obviously, we have blurred this out. Um, but yeah, these are all our clients that have social media. And as we go along, we've got things such as email clients, our video marketing clients. And um, we've got client project boards and just like other so this is how we basically operate our business to be able to get around things nice and easy. So we're going to create one ourselves. So what we're going to do first is you would press create and you would press create board. So if you press create board now, we're going to want to give this a title. So let's just say, um, I'm just going to, I've got an, another business. So I'm just going to put MHG services HQ. Um, and then you can choose background if you want or keep it plain. I like to keep my HQ a plain background. So I'm just going to go with this orange and I'm going to press create. And this is how when it's going to create a nice board for us so that we can have a look and see what's what. Um, so just hang on, it's loading up. There we go. So now we are going to need to create our columns. So the ones that we recommend, and obviously you can do it different for your business, is we have main HQ. We have goals, marketing, and all I'm doing here is literally typing it out 
and pressing enter on the keyboard. I cannot spell today. Um, there we go. And then we've got our teams. If you do have a team, you might have a team board. I'm just going to say for purposes, we're not going to have that. And then depending on what work kind of things you do, you might have other stuff such as um, projects, for instance, or anything like that. And once you've got this, we want to start building it out. So it depends on what boards you've got now. So don't worry if you've not got all the boards that we have. It kind of just depends on what boards you've actually got. So for instance, in the main HQ one, you hopefully have somewhere where you manage your tasks or your workload. So you could put task list. There we go. And obviously, it's, it's not looking very attractive. So what we're going to do then is we would click on the card. And then over here on the right-hand side, it says cover. So we press cover. And then you would choose what color you want or what image you want. So let's just say we're going to go with yellow. And now if you look, you can just see it a bit in the background there. I'll have to click off this. And you can see it's put a yellow bulb, but it still says that there. I personally don't like that look. I like a different look, but you might like that. So again, if I just click on it and go back into cover, which you have to go above now, not on the right hand side because we've already chose one. I like to choose this one here for the size so that it covers the whole board, as you can see here. But of course, now we need to put how do we get the task list? So it could be a URL if it's something that's not in Trello. Um, but if it is a Trello board, then what you can do is you can use this attachment bit here. So if you press attachment and you can press Trello, and then basically you can search for any boards. I'm just going to search one of my test boards that I've got. So if we bring up this test board, which one shall we go for? There we go. Task test board. And I attach that. We can see that it's put it in there now. So whenever anybody came onto here, they would click task list, they'd click on there, and it opens that test board up straight away for them. So we can see instantly what is happening. So next up, things that you may want, you may want to include a CRM. Um, you know, it could be a services overview page that you're going to have, um, software, and I'm going to put main links. So of course, we would put our CRM link in here. It could be that it is actually an attachment of the Trello board. Could be it's a link to a spreadsheet or anything like that, what, whichever way that you want to do it. And of course, we would change the cover. So it's already starting to look out. Services. Again, it depends. So with services, what I would probably do, we actually have an external spreadsheet. But if it's, you know, you're a small business, you're just starting out, I would actually kind of outline things a bit more. So when you're typing things out, I would, you can use bold. So you can either do, Control B if you're using a Windows keyboard, or you can just put two stars, and then you type it out. So service name one, and then two stars. And that's going to make that bold. And then you can put details of an explanation of this or anything like that um, that you want to put in here. So that you've got an outline of all your services. And then again, we put service name two, and we can put some details. Yeah, and as you can see there, it just looks a little bit better. Um, and of course, we're going to make the cover. So if we just go on to cover, and there we go. Um, software, I like to use a checklist for this. So if we click checklist on the right-hand side, um, you can then say name it software. And I would actually list out the software. So like if you use zero, I'd put zero on there. And then I would type it out basically whatever link it is to log in so it may be www.0.com and um, actually at the beginning I tend to put accounting software so we know what it's used for and there we go and then you can list all of them out as you wish to um, so I'm going to put that and then obviously main links this is really good for just putting stuff such as you might have your website link you would put that on there then you would have another link here, etc. So you put all the links on there that you're going to have. It might be you've got your social links, etc. And then, of course, if we look back at the board that I had originally, you can see all the different stuff that we have here. Pause the video, have a look at what we've got, and start fleshing out your own. So I hope that helps you in figuring out how to create your own HQ. So there you have it, everybody. You should now have your very own dashboard created. 
Hopefully you found it easy. If you do have any questions, please leave them in the comments. And of course, if you are liking these videos, check out all our other trailer videos that we have. But most importantly, give us a subscribe, give us a like, and give us some feedback to show your support to this amazing channel. That's going to help you not just with Trello, but with all other business tech as well.